24 hours later are great because we had fun with it and you've come to work today and you're having fun with it. That's good. Now, I, At the I stop sign, turn left that onto that Newman that Street, one. then turn right onto West uh, Road. Was, that, that was the lunch in the last Friday. Oh, you paid it forward for the money. Actually, Kenny, Kenny owes me lunch uh, on Friday because I bet that Rico would not be in the studio today and I was right and I won. You just know if somebody goes in, picks up a Comrex unit, then comes back out, you think maybe they could just stick around in the show for <laughs> All right, I'll let you guys figure this out. Let me take a time out. I've got three great comments. At the stop so sign, oh, wait, turn oh, right onto West okay. Road. I think it's seven. Oh, Jesus. This is health reporter Lila Lazarus. Every 40 seconds, someone in this country has a heart attack. Even in a pandemic, if you have an urgent situation, St. Joe's emergency rooms are safe and open 24-7. Avoiding the ER or delaying... In 1.5 miles, turn right to merge onto I-75 North. ...to ensure safety of patients and staff. With testing protocols, proper sanitation, and protective equipment, you are safe at St. Joe's. If you have symptoms of a heart attack or stroke, the advice is still the same. Call 911. For St. Joe's, I'm Lila Lazarus.
your seats for the 2021 Tigers season. On Saturday, October 17th, from noon until 4, head down to Comerica Park to secure the best seats at the lowest prices. You must register in advance at tigers.com slash seats. Enter code 2021. Social distancing will be in place. Do you have an opinion? Of course you do. Call the D Las Vegas 97.1 the Ticket Studio Line at 248-539-9797. For D Las Vegas, the home of Detroit Sports in Vegas. Now, text or call the ticket using the same number. Ticket text 248-539-9797.
this idea that in year six, Kirkham Street is still doing a permanent defense of Jim Harbaugh. And, and let me let me say this in the recall. I, I know I want to keep it tight, and I want to hear more of your take on this. But I want the people involved. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Here's the one thing. Explain to me the philosophy, the thought process of well. refreshing to have that honest conversation and not feel like you're sold something and that's what they're about they're going to help you out in any way they can because you know what if your results don't turn out good that's on them and they know that so if you're on the fence call doctors barry and ronovitz 248-353-1117 or mihairdoc.com that's 248-353-1117 or mihairdoc.com want to bet the new sportsbook at Greektown Casino Hotel is now open. We're your 50-yard line behind home plate, center court ticket to real odds, points, and over-unders. We've got all the action on all the games. And our state-of-the-art 24-hour betting kiosks make placing your bets at Greektown the fastest way to win in town. So grab the crew and place your bets now at the sportsbook at Greektown Casino Hotel. Sports betting is legal in Michigan. Problem gambling call 1-800-270-7117. Someday, hopefully soon, we'll get back to living our lives. Until then, Flagstar Bank is providing some much-needed certainty. Flagstar is the nation's second-largest savings bank. We have a variety of savings accounts, one that's right for you right now. And all are FDIC-insured up to $250,000. Flagstar Bank, the power of the human interest rate. Visit flagstar.com slash savings. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Hey, Wojo here. Let's talk Detroit, where we work hard, root hard. We're proud, resilient, we adapt, we innovate, practice sustainability, and we can boost some of the best companies in America. Ford celebrates the inspiring companies who power Detroit forward each day. Here's Brian Holcomb of CGC Kinetical Walk. When you're hiring hearts, people are motivated. We are a family business for four generations now, and really one of our missions is to improve the communities that we serve. The water touches a lot more in your life than a lot of people are aware of. It impacts your biggest investment, your homes. It impacts your family. We just want to make sure that wherever it comes in contact, that it's the best possible that it can be. We have a whole department that's involved in the community. Some of the management went off for a day, and we were knee-deep in the Shiawassee River. Spent eight hours pulling plastic and cans and old tires out of the river. Knowing that you're impacting people, you're improving lives, it does give you a little bit more satisfaction when you put your head on your pillow at the end of the night. Ford, built for Detroit, built for America. Pro Extra is the Home Depot's free loyalty. 
loyalty program built for pros. Members earn perks just for shopping, like new Pro Extra Dollars or Tool Rental Perks. Get exclusive benefits every day that save time and money. And here's an extra extra, $20 off your next in-store purchase of $200 or more, just for signing up. Want to save? Join Pro Extra only at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Visit the Pro Desk in store at homedepot.com slash pro extra for details. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Picking up an online order? No problem. It'll just be a moment. You know, we've got more convenient ways to shop besides our same-day store pickup. You can also shop from your car with our free curbside pickup. Or you can even shop completely from home with our free next-day delivery. Just order by 10 p.m. on AutoZone.com. Getting the job done just got easier. Free next-day delivery on eligible orders. Restrictions at AutoZone.com. Cosmetology. The experts at car detailing now offer a spray-on coating that kills germs and bacteria on all hard surfaces that last 24 months guaranteed. Keep your business safe and germ-free. Log on to CosmetologyCoating.com for a free estimate. Building a world-class sports station in a world-class sports city. So we're leading off with it today. Good old Herbie, the guy who likes to shake both hands. I don't like to anger anybody, pretty much the opposite of me. Defending Jim Harbaugh, saying he's still building a program, saying he still needs to find a quarterback who can raise the bar. And basically saying that if you think Jim Harbaugh should be on the hot seat, you're crazy because no one else will be able to win there. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've given you the lay of the land. I want your comments. Guys, we were a little over a week from Big Ten football being back. And look, whether you think it's totally fake, partially real, or totally real, comments like Herb Streets are bizarre to me. And I want your feedback. Rico, I know I had to cut it short there, and I wanted you to finish your thoughts. So please, 248-539-9797. Ricardo. How are you? Well, Mike, uh, you, you had two questions I really want to dive into. One was, you know, if Harbaugh can't do it, then who can? And that's a philosophy that I think a lot of Michigan people have. And, Mike, I think, as silly as it sounds, it's because it was almost like Harbaugh was the, the godson of Bo. And that's the closest thing you're going to get to Bo. So if Harbaugh can't do this, then no other coach can come in here. Now, I think that's completely asinine. But I also think that the next coach won't get the latitude that Jim Harbaugh has had. The next coach won't get to lose to Ohio State five times. They will already get gone. The next coach won't get to not develop a QB. And that's the problem. That's all on Harbaugh. The first year when he came in, I, I, I'll give it to him when he brought in the grad transfer. Okay, fine. You was a Jacob guy. You bring him in. Came from Iowa. You, you, you were kind of successful. But Mike, after that, Jim Harbaugh, you do realize Joe Milton, I think, is the first day one starter that Jim Harbaugh has grown. Not because of an injury, but just his own guy that he went out and recruited that he's played in year six. So he failed at quarterback so many times because he kept sticking the band-aid on there. I'm going to go get the latest transfer. I'm going to get the latest transfer. So much so. For everybody who was like, oh, this McCaffrey built thing. Yeah, Harbaugh was going after the kid who transferred out of USC and ended up in Georgia. He wanted that quarterback, but the quarterback said no. He hasn't developed quarterbacks that he went out and recruited. That's on Harbaugh, but no one calls him out on that, right? And, and that's the problem. As you said, Florida, Florida fires comes over that. He's not going to get fired, but it's his it's fault. Tom Tom, yeah. Herman. Tom Herman's one and four against Oklahoma. He played him twice in one season with the weird rules, but it's year four. He's basically a dead man walking right now. Like, how is it any different? How, how, is the, how is that any different? It's because one guy played quarterback at the school and the other guy didn't. Yeah, it is. Tom Herman had really no ties to Texas. Tom Herman's not, you know, he didn't play under the greatest coach ever at Texas. So, no, and he didn't play quarterback. He, he He's not one of those guys. Because I do think that we take our own and, and we hold them a little closer to the best. Because, you, Mike, as you like to say, we remember the good old days. Oh, my goodness, remember this guy. It, it's why a lot of people said, hey, maybe you should go get Narduzzi when D'Antonio left for MSU because you were hoping to keep that feel-good spirit. But they didn't. <laughs> but here's what happens. Michigan, yes, because he played for both. 
that means so much to them. It, you know, like in Vegas when they said, hey, you shook Sinatra's hand, you play football. That means something to a lot of Michigan fans. That's why he's able to go out and go 0-5. And think about this too. Like, like look, look at, look at Tom Herman at least against Oklahoma. The results are close. I mean, first of all, 29-24, 48-45, he beat them. He actually beat his rival. 39-27, 34-27, and then this this weekend's nutty 53-45, 4 OT game. Rico, Harbaugh's not even coming close anymore to LSU. And you're right. Can you imagine the Texas fan? Had Lincoln Riley gone out and said, we are going to put a hundred on your ass. Like, I just, again, I'm not saying in a pandemic, you're letting him go. No, no, no. I'm making the point that this, this Herb Street opinion, that if you think he should be feeling pressure, that it's ridiculous, I take offense to that. Because you're basically saying there's no burden of proof to be the head coach of Michigan. You don't have to win the Big Ten. You don't even have to compete against Ohio State. You just to get to exist in this weird purgatory of faux exceptionalism where you're going nine and three and then beating a garbage team in a bowl game and you're like see look we're doing well but you're not you're not playing meaningful games you're not winning meaningful games and, and you're your rival's bitch you you're not even winning a meaningful bowl game because michigan is into the last four year zero and two they lose to ohio state and then they lose in the bowl game so you're not even getting that game. The Indiana game is the last victory that you see of the year. And then you lose your next two. That's where we're at. And you're right. You should expect more. I don't think that Lincoln Riley would have dared say that. Because he would have fired up he would have fired up Texas. He would have fired up the fan base. Saying this, you know, I'm going to hang 100 on Michigan. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. I mean, the quarterback situation, that's all on him. He didn't develop any of those guys. And Mike, don't give me the... Don't let people, well, he didn't have the talent. They were bringing in four and five star quarterbacks every year. And guys were leaving, transferring. They weren't getting shots. He was he would rather bring in a transfer QB, just like he tried to do this year with the with the Daniels, a kid that transferred out of the USC. Yeah. They wanted him. They were in on him, but he was in Georgia. You know, he does. But uh, the ball won it. No, he's got yeah. something to do. 4853997 Adams in Berkeley 97. What's up, Adam? Hey, uh, Colin, as an Ohio State fan, I just want to make a quick point. I'll hang up and listen. Uh, yeah. I think Herb Street did this because, as Ohio State fans, we want Harbaugh there as long as possible. Oh. All my Michigan fans trying to say, want Harbaugh gone. I want him there. We've been kicking it every year. You know what I mean? Well, you know, Adam, I, 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 Adam, I think there's something to that because, Mike, I, I, I never wanted Brian Ellaby to leave Michigan as the head coach. Yeah, yeah. Well, I remember those days. You want that coach to stay. And Ellaby sure doesn't know how to stay, man. You know, he's he got the same mentality as me. And he has, he has some, uh, probably has some, uh, can't think of the word. Some black people probably listen to him. Now people at Michigan are probably like, oh, you know what, maybe you should stay. And they say, you know, make that better. All right, so fine. If you believe that's why Herbie said it, so be it. I'm still looking for Michigan fan thoughts on that comment. Like, Mel Tucker hasn't coached a game yet. It's there. You think in year six, I'm going to be sitting here defending Mel Tucker and being excited about Mel Tucker if he doesn't have MSU at least approaching what Mark was doing? No, I don't think we'll win 11 games more five out of six years, but I'll be damned if he's six years deep and, and we've done nothing that he's 0-5 against Michigan and will be a huge underdog to him in year six, that we will not have played a meaningful bowl game, and that we will not have made a trip to Indy. If Mel Tucker doesn't do those things, I'll be talking about firing his ex. And that's at Michigan State, dude. Mike, how about this? We would have already had that conversation probably in year three, and he would have been gone in year four had he lost that game. I don't think he makes it to year five, let alone year six. Yeah, that's Michigan State. And it's funny, but the standards are higher. Why? Say what you want about the end of the D'Antonio era. You taste the success. You know what it's like, and you want it back. But I still had no loyalty. I still had no ability to give him a pass for what I knew was happening. So, like, when I look at stuff like this, it's like I don't care that he likes ball. Or I don't care that he played here. This is year six. Now, listen, I don't even know how to quantify and qualify whatever
whatever these results are going to be this year, right, Rico? Like, what, what if they, let's say they, do they go to Indy, do they not? If they lose to OSU, I don't even know if I hold it as a regular loss. The point is, he will be entering year seven in all likelihood, having done nothing here. I don't know how that's acceptable. But here's the funny thing that you said that, Mike. At first, I was thinking that same way, and then I watched that Texas-Oklahoma game. The they could give less than a damn about a pandemic. They weren't thinking about no COVID-19. That was their rival, and they wanted to win. Even had coaches gagging in the overtimes. And then finally, no, so you Use saw the, the right celebration on the field. If Michigan beats Ohio State, you can't Lansing. sit there and say, well, it's because of the pandemic. No, 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 that's your rival. I saw hatred in Texas, Oklahoma. You'll see that same hatred against Ohio State. 248-539-9797. Get more of your calls. We've got a blitz in the mix. We have got a loaded show today. Capital mortgage funding. We all know the industry's changed. What hasn't is that Harry Glanz and Dan Burke and that whole staff over at Cap, they do things right. The part of the community, what does it mean for you? You pick up the phone, you call them. Capital mortgage funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE. There's no outrageous fees or costs put you into a ridiculous program like others do. And at Capital, look, they've been around for a long time and they simply do what's best for you. Great time to buy a new home. Take advantage of crazy low rates. It's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, the best mortgage bank. That's 800-788-5442 today. Your call is completely anonymous. For more information on this claim, go to officialbsaclaims.com. Sponsored by Mark J. Byrne and Partners, LLP. Joe Biden. To fix the economy, we have to get control over the virus. I'm releasing a plan to save lives in the months ahead. We need to increase federal support for testing, doubling the number of drive through testing sites. We absolutely need a clear message from the very top of our federal government that everyone needs to wear a mask in public. Every single frontline worker should have the personal protective equipment that they need to be safe. We need to support schools and child care programs so parents, if and when they can return to work, are confident that their children will be safe and cared for. And finally, we need to protect the population's most at risk, our seniors, vulnerable populations with pre-existing conditions. We need real plans, real guidelines, with uniform nationwide standards. It's a simple proposition, folks. We're all in this together. we got to fight this together. We'll emerge from this stronger because we did it together. I'm Joe White, candidate for president, and I approve this message. 2020 is no ordinary tailgating season, so Miller Lite, an official beer of the Detroit Lions, is all about homegating. Get to your participating Miller Lite retailer to get the text code to enter to win the ultimate Detroit Lions homegating party pack with all kinds of cool Miller Lite prices. 
Miller Lite Barbecue Grill, Steel Cooler, and Cornhole. Everything you need to home game this Lions season in sweet Miller Lite style. We're pulling a winner every week right here in Metro Detroit. So get to your participating Miller Lite retailer today and text the code for your chance to win. Which is necessary to 21 year old. I feel like I'm being haunted by a pair of headphones. Everywhere I go is a creepy ad for headphones I looked at one time. I hate feeling like I'm being watched. I downloaded DuckDuckGo and saw a difference right away. Take back your privacy with DuckDuckGo. 97 won the ticket. would like to remind you that when you text the ticket, standard text messaging rates apply. We're going to get back to the people momentarily, but I, I, I need to wet my beak a little bit like Roberto at 6 p.m. into a glass of vodka. Mm. Give me some music, Kenny. By the uh, way, just, yes. so you know, just so you know, Rico, that's actually yes, David on those bells. <laughs> that's every Sunday when mass kicks off down at Greater Life. David will return next week after maternity leave. Rico, go ahead. I may have to go to Greater Life one of these Sundays, man, because apparently David plays the uh, bells, spectacle. He plays the guitar, he does everything. Spectacle. Mike? He also plays yeah. jazz flute. Oh, okay. Ron Burgundy style. That's All right. right. <laughs> Even though technically the week is not over, the NFL power rankings are out. Yes. We can skip with the bottom. At number 30, though, is a surprising team. Normally, Washington hold, held, held that spot, but this is a, uh, it's, 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 it, it makes sense. Atlanta Falcons, 0-5, sitting there first. It's, it's too low, and I'm going to tell you why. When you look at teams like Jacksonville, teams like the Giants, teams like the Jets, you are talking about teams that take the field every week and don't have any talent. Atlanta has had a couple of historic collapses. Julio Jones is out, you know. You can, you can value Julio however you want. He's, he's one of the three or four best receivers in the game. Rico, I just don't think they are that bad. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Timestamp this puppy. Lions better look out two weeks. Circle that game. Be very careful. You're going to go and try and play man. You want to know when Atlanta wins their first game? Might be your asses in two weeks. Carry on. I, uh, I totally agree with you on that, Mike. Uh, Go ahead and play man against that. You better hope Julio's legs fall off. Yeah, you're not kidding me. Uh, Next is the Lions' next opponent, Jacksonville Jaguars, sitting there at 29. Yeah, you know, they made history this week, Rico. They were the first team in NFL history to give three straight teams their first win of the season. Um, They're bad. It is what it is. Minshew stinks. He has no arm. They don't have weapons. The O-line stinks. The defense has been gutted. They're a bad football team who we thought were tanking. Then we thought that they might be decent for 10 minutes. We figured out they are, in fact, terrible. If the Lions don't beat this team, everyone needs to be fired immediately. I wish the Lions were playing any other team in football this week. I think Jackson, for me, Rico, Jacksonville could be, outside of the Giants or Jets, the worst team in the league. Yeah, when they won that game, I actually thought that, you know what, maybe I was wrong about Jacksonville. Nope, I wasn't. I was exactly right about them. All right, following up with that is the Broncos, the Washington Football Club, the Bengals, and then the Lions at 25. At the stop sign, turn left on Tulane. I want to move the then Bengals the destination up, is on your left. But this was a good reality check this week. Burrow looked human. They kicked a field goal with a minute left to avoid getting shut out. The Lions are the one there I have a hard time with. Because I know they're a little bit better than they are, the but they're nowhere near good. Left. This is a tough six, seven, for me, Rico. Four, I, I, I think I'm, Arrived. I'm actually okay with where this is because I could put the Lions in Cincinnati on a cold, blustery day, and I don't know that they win that game. 